What happens when your bank statement balance in zero doesn't agree to your actual bank statement balance? Well, you need to do some research and hopefully find what has gone wrong. In this video, I show you one example of fixing a zero account when the two figures don't agree. Let's head into zero and I'll show you how that was done. On the zero dashboard and your bank has been reconciled and what you have got showing here is according to zero, this is what your statement balance should be at the 19th of January. It's something you should check on a very regular basis. But guess what? We've done a check today and it doesn't agree. The bank statement balance is exactly £250 more than this amount. So what do we do? Well, here's a suggestion of what might work and it's an example that I did for a client very recently. So I'm thinking maybe something's gone wrong with the bank feed. I'm going to go into the bank account and I'm going to choose the bank statements. Now zero defaults to show in every single statement line. I'm going to change that to show statements. We're on a demo company, so there's not a lot of information here, but here's the date of imports of these bank statements. And here's the date of the transaction. So what I'm going to start with doing is I'm going to have a very quick look at these dates and I'm going to see if there's any gaps. Now there's more gaps here than there would normally be because it's demo data and there's not a lot happening. But what I do find is that there's a gap between the 25th of August last year and the 21st of September. Now that's ringing some alarm bells to me. This is more what you would expect. You'd expect transactions. If there's things happening in your bank on a regular basis, they've gone from November to December and then they carry on. December to 9th of January, 9th of January to the 19th. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig out or go online and find my actual bank statements and I'm going to look and see if there were any transactions between the 25th of August and the 21st of September. And when I get to my bank statement, this is what I find. I find that there's one transaction, a receipt, on the 1st of September 2019. And that clearly, for whatever reason, has been missed. It hasn't been pulled into zero. So I'm now going to add it manually. I know what it relates to. I've done some investigating. And if I go to business and pick up my invoices, and if I take a look at the weight and payment invoices, what I'm going to find is I'm going to find this invoice here was actually paid on the 1st of September. So I will manually input the payment or the receipt, 1st of September 2019. It was paid to the bank account and we add it. Now what that does is if we go to the dashboard, if we go to our bank and we choose the reconciliation report, we will see that it now shows it's in zero, but it's shown as an outstanding receipt. If I go back to my dashboard and I select the transactions in my bank account, and if I sort by the status, now I can see that this one transaction is unreconciled. If I select it, I can go to options and I can choose this option to mark it as reconciled. Zero's just saying, are you sure that you want to do this? And I'm going to say yes. So this is correct in something. It's not something you do on a regular basis, marking it as reconciled. Now, when we go back to the dashboard, when we go back into our transactions, and let's do a search because we know it was for 250 pounds. And here we have it, the receipt from City Limousines on the 1st of September, and now it's been manually marked as reconciled. And you know that's been done manually because it says the bank transaction source is from a user rather than imported. Okay, I just want to recap what I did here. I logged into Zero and I looked at my statement balance as per Zero, and I saw that it wasn't right, 250 pounds less than the figure that we have right now. So I wanted to know what had gone wrong. Now, lots of things can go wrong, but one thing that can go wrong is if there's a problem with your bank feed. So to look at the bank feeds, I went into the bank account 
and I chose the option to look at the bank statements. I changed it from statement lines to statements and I looked at the dates. Now, if you've got regular transactions, you'll probably have an import every day from the day before. So what I was looking for is any gaps. Now there's gaps in here mainly because it's a demo company and there's not a lot of data. But the gap, the one that I found was the one here which said we have this statement, which was imported on this date, included transactions from the 22nd of July to the 25th of August. And then the next statement input didn't start until the 21st of September. So I wondered, were there any bank transactions between these two dates that have been missed? When I went to my bank and checked, I found that there was a transaction on the 1st of September. I knew what it was for, it was a receipt, so I went to the sales invoice it related to and I manually input the receipt. And then I chose that transaction and I manually marked it as reconciled. And now back on my dashboard, the statement balance at the 19th of January is the correct figure. So I can't stress how important it is to check that this figure in zero agrees to your actual statement balance. If it doesn't, you need to do some research. One thing that can go wrong is if something happens with your bank feed and there's missing transactions. If you've had transactions for a long period of time and you don't know when it went wrong, you can go to your reconciliation report and you can choose a different date. So we know it's wrong at this stage. So let's go back, for example, to the end of July last year and update. And then we would see, okay, according to zero, this is what the statement balance was on that date. And we would look at our actual statement on that date and see if at that stage it was right or wrong. Now we know that at this stage it would have been right because it was September where it went out. So that's another way to track down where something's gone wrong on your bank statement balance if you've not been checking it regularly. But we've checked it, we've found the error and we've corrected it, so we are now happy. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing.